How do I use a Fresnel effect in my materials in Unreal Editor? A Fresnel effect is basically a way to return the angle of a surface on a zero to one basis, such that the surfaces whose normal is perpendicular to the camera, which would be the surfaces here on the outermost edge of the sphere, they would return a value of one. As these surfaces start to tilt toward the camera, they begin to return a value of zero, and the very center of the sphere would return zero. Now you can visualize, visualize this, excuse me, by bringing in a Fresnel, like so, and just plugging this right into your emissive channel. And you'll notice that the outermost edges are emitting a value of one, and right here in the middle we have zero. Now if you select a Fresnel, you have an exponent, if you increase the value of this exponent, you get higher contrast. So basically your area in the middle will start to get bigger. Or of course you could pull this down and the lower it goes underneath three, the more uh, white area you get on the outside. What I'm gonna do, just to kind of show you a neat effect with this, is we're gonna set this to a value of about five. So it's a little bit tight around the edges. We're gonna multiply this by a color so that you know that you're not just limited to the value of zero and one that come out of this. Let's go ahead and slide this back by control dragging it out. I'm gonna create a multiply node by holding down the M key as in Michael. We'll control drag this over. I'm gonna plug my Fresnel into input A. Into input B, I'm gonna create a constant three vector, which we can just drag out of the list or hold down the three key and click here inside the material editor. And let's set this to a red value of one and green value of 0.5 so we get to a nice brilliant orange. We'll plug this into input B and we'll plug the result of this into our emissive. So now we're making the outermost edges of this glow orange. If we wanted to kind of overdrive this, we could say maybe red is uh, 1.5 and green is 0.75. And now we're getting a much brighter glow out of that. Now something that is kind of neat to do with a Fresnel, you'll notice it has an input for a normal, which means you can take a normal map, such as the one we have down here, take its output and plug it right into your normal, and now that Fresnel is going to take the normal into account as it calculates that angle of incidence. So now you can see those cracks really starting to appear in the surface. That is how you can incorporate a Fresnel effect into your material, and technically this is really only one way to go about it. There's a lot of different ways you could make use of this in your materials. This is more of a proof of concept than anything else, but that wraps up this How Do I video.